this morning I talked about the whole water grab um, phenomenon and how water is quite essential, central to the whole uh, phenomenon of resource grabbing and land, land grabbing. Uh, because um, what I think is quite very interesting with this multiple crisis is, is that it, uh, by, by multiple crisis I mean the, the, f the, the crisis on food, feed, fuel, um, energy, climate, and as well as the global water crisis, it creates a, a perfect storm for, for water to be uh, appropriated, reappropriated, and as well as, you know, different old reinforcing um, and accelerating, widening, and um, deepening old uh, forms of uh, privatization and commodification of this resource, and at the same time creating new ones. Um, because uh, water, you know, since the 1992 uh, um, s uh, summit in Rio, it has really valued water as an economic good, and that actually was a signal for many of the f global capital. And you know, essentially, the way how capitalism frame it is that it's a uh, it's a perfect commodity uh, which can be traded and you know, uh, um, put a price on it because it's 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 a perfect commodity. It's inflation free. Uh, everybody needs it. There's no substitute for it, and um, it's an elastic relative to price. And everybody needs it. And um, with the growing population, with cl the pressures of climate change, and you know, um, industrializing countries like uh, uh, China and India, it will really create a lot of pressure on the water resources and how this will be um, uh, appro um, distributed, uh, including the service delivery. So. I think one of the very interesting recent trend with this uh, multiple crisis is how, for example, icebergs and glaciers, because this comprise majority of the freshwater resource, are now being bought by um, by hedge funds, like for example the Canadian Hate Hedge Fund in uh, called Sextant. Um, it bought a 95 lease on glaciers in uh, northern Europe for um, essentially for two purposes to create bottled water and at the same time to uh, ship it um, to uh, places where there's water scarcity and um, I, I wouldn't be surprised for example if uh, countries from Europe would also ask this uh, this uh, hedge fund to deliver water by ships because uh, Barcelona for example had a water crisis last uh, summer of 2008 and they had to ship uh, water from uh, from uh, from France and southern uh, southern uh, Catalonia. So I mean, you you have this new context where I think water is being revalued reval again as an economic good, but in a new light, in a much more I think insidious way that it can the ca global capital, you know, the investors and hedge fund can can uh, can uh, can earn a lot of money from it. Um, there's a new water market, uh, global futures market in water that's up. And coming up, um, it's a rel rel relatively new market. Um, there's now specialized uh, water fund, which a lot of uh, a lot of um, companies or uh, investors are putting their eggs on uh, because you know this water we can really, really uh, earn a uh, earn a lot of uh, money f um, in money from. Um, and uh, interestingly, although I think this should be uh, research further, is that. Um, uh, the Dutch uh, agricultural bank, Rabobank, is uh, have an, uh, two special water funds: the Sam Sam, Sam um, Investment Water uh, Sustainable Investment Fund and Saracen Invest, which are really trying to uh, sell their portfolio on more efficient water use efficient uh, irrigation services. So you have these new things, but you also have the new uh, the old ways of of uh, grabbing water, which is. Uh, through uh, mining of groundwater by bottling companies, um, for example, uh, cr um, establishment of mega infrastructures like dams and uh, like um, uh, large-scale irrigation projects to the detriment of the populations that are that are, are, are relying uh, on it for, you know, for their income and for their livelihoods, and you have um, uh, you know hydropolitics. Uh, between uh, different countries who share the same water, like for example in the Nile, and even uh, even countries like uh, in the Mekong and, and in, in um, even in South Asia, but I, I think what's interesting to look out for is how this will be um, um, uh, exacerbated by by the growing demand, uh, you know, the scarcity problem uh, on water, and I think this would have a lot of impact in the way, for example, social social movements. And uh, progressive groups uh, s 
ad, um, uh, push their agenda. They're uh, you know how they're they're pushing their agenda on on water, and um, okay. I 